the majority of 5k2 players for Heritage for the Future don't really know how to Palm Mod, since it is a bit different from 5k1. Since Palm Mod did get some updates to it, here is an updated guide on how to Palm Mod Heritage for the Future on 5k2 and Legacy. Along with some ROM splitting to update your Palm Modded JoJo Band ROM for 5k2. Before we begin this tutorial, I will link a document that is a guide for Palm Modding along with a document that is a guide for ROM splitting. Download the latest stable version of Palm Mod from this website. Note that the version you see in this video may be different from what you see in the future, since the devs do update this application frequently. After you download a Palm Mod, right click and extract files. Fetch your Jojo Band and or Jojo BA files from your 5k2 ROMs folder. You should have Jojo Band for 5k Legacy or Jojo BA for 5k2. Create a new ROMs folder in your Palm Mod folder by right clicking, scroll down to New, and click on Folder. Both zip ROMs should be extracted by right clicking on the file and extract files. Even though Palmod does not edit all the files, keep all the files in the folder and leave them as is. If you don't have either ROM files, you can download them from Bavu's website. Remember to back up your ROMs before you mod them. Launch palmod.exe and you'll see two windows, one where you can edit the palette on the left and one that shows you the previews on the right. Before we load up any hair for the future files, click on settings, go to colors per line, and click on 16 colors per line. Then close out a palm mod and launch it again. Now you get a wider range of colors to work with and removes any confusion about JoJo's palettes. For palm modding, only use Jojo BA and keep Jojo Ban R1 untouched. To load up Jojo BA on Palmod, go to File, Load Directory, and click either Jojo's Characters or Jojo's HUD and Stages depending on what you want to Palmod. Locate Jojo BA and click OK. To change the color of a palette, select the color block that matches the color on that specific sprite. You can change the color of it using the RGB slider or the HSL slider. Or you can choose a color by clicking on Pick Color and choosing a color from a predefined set of colors or defining your own colors. Remember to click on Update each time you want to save something. When you're done palm modding, make sure all of your sprites are updated. Go to File and click Patch Changes. Close out the application and select the Jojo BA folder. Right click and click on Send to Compressed Zipped Folder. Move Jojo BA.zip to your FC2 FB Neo ROMs folder. When loading up the game, you should get this error. 
This error is something you want. It's to confirm that the game is modded, just click OK. Most likely regulation will be on for the game and the character pal mods will not work. To fix that, press F2, scroll down to the seventh option, then to the second option, scroll down to the seventh option of that screen and press it to set regulation off. Exit the diagnostic window like so in order for the settings to save. If you have done this correctly, your power mod should be working now. You do not need to do this online since regulation is automatically off. Be wary that some colors will not look the same when importing into PAL mod. On the left window, click on File and Load ROM. Go to the JoJo Band folder. The bottom right corner of the window that appears will have the ROM type. By default, it is set to use COTA. Click on it and select JoJo's. You will see files 50 and 51. Both files have different stuff in them, such as file 51 having characters and file 50 having stages. Be sure you load up the correct file for what you want to pal mod. As example, let's use file 51. After you're done PAL modding, make sure you have updated your PAL mods. Go to File and click on Patch Changes. After you do that, right click on the JoJo Band folder and send to Compressed Zip folder. Move that folder to your FC1 ROMs folder and load up the game. Click OK on the error message and enjoy your PAL mods. Let's go over some of the main stuff that you can do with PAL mod. Blink blinks the selected color in a preview sprite to show you where that color is. Invert inverts the selected color. Revert reverts the selected color back to its original color from the last time the file was saved. Update updates the palette for the next patch. Under Tools, there is Load Palette, which loads a .act file or a PNG index image file, which replaces the current palette colors with loaded palette colors. Save ACT palette saves current palette colors as a .act file. Just remember to name it. Under Edit, there is Undo, Redo, Copy, Paste, Select all and select none. On the preview window, you can export images of supported previews by going to File, 
and clicking on Export Images. You can choose the amount, which palette you want to export, and your border size. When you're done, click on File, and then click Save. Name the file, and save the PNG file. You can also load textures from custom previews. In Settings, you can set the background color and image as well as a blink color. Also zoom up to four times, drag around the preview screen, and edit the window size as well. If you want to know what each thing does on the PowerMod application, there's a section on the bottom of the PowerMod in 2020 document. There is also another program you can use to PowerMod, Fighter Factory 3. Before PalMod had worked in previews for HFTF, we had to use FF3 to PalMod with previews. If you want to know how to use FF3 for PalModding, watch this video. ROM splitting is used to update your PalModded JoJo Van ROM into a JoJo BA ROM for Fight K2. First, you'll need to download the ROM splitting program made by Gary Butternubs. You will need Java in order to run the program. Most computers already have Java, but for some strange reason, if you don't have Java, download it from their website. Next, you'll need your pal modded ROM of Jojo Ban. Rename the ROM Jojo Ban R1, right click it, and extract files. Then make a new folder and name it Jojo BA. After you have both folders, open the Combine, Split, and Swap.jar program. Choose the option on the left. When it asks you to find the Combine ROM, select the Jojo Ban R1 folder. When it asks where you want to place the split ROM, select the Jojo BA folder. Your ROMs should be split now. Close out the application. Right click on each folder and compress the folders. Move them to the FB Neo ROM folder. Load up HFTF, and your PAL mods will now work.
If your power mods are not working, ask for assistance in either the Hair to the Future Power Mod Channel or the Power Mod Gallery server. Now here is a slideshow of all the thumbnails that were made for the video. Thanks to those who made them.